Have you ever wondered why environments in games look so realistic? Maybe you also wondered why your landscape looks like this and not like this. The truth is, you are missing one important technique. Stay with me for a few minutes and I'll show you how to get your graphics to the next level. Let's hop into engine. So when in Unreal Engine, the first thing we need to do is close the project. So let me close Unreal Engine, save my textures I just imported. And with everything closed, we need to go into the project folder. For that, I just go to my project, right click, show in folder. And in here, I need to go into the config and I need to go into the default engine.ini. Here in the default engine INI, I need to go into the render settings and on the bottom part, I just add air.nanite.allow allow tessellation equals one and also air.nanite.tessellation also equals one. The first one is basically forcing um, nanite or the tessellation and the second one is uh, a toggle switch. So you could put it on zero and it should be disabled and putting it on one is enable it. Make sure everything is written, tessellation double S, double L. And after that, we just save it and exit. So now we need to restart our project and I see you back in engine. So back in Unreal, we need to go under Edit, Plugins, and we need to look for something special called Nanite Displaced Mesh. So we need to enable that, and after that, click Yes and restart the engine again. So that should be it with restarting. With restarting, let me close that window, and if you don't have any text just in here, you can just go under. Um, quickly add and then Quixel bridge and just search on bridge for um, whatever you want to download in terms of textures. Uh, I close that, I edit mine by hand and it's nothing fancy, albedo, ambient occlusion, displacement, normal and roughness. And I just right click the albedo and create a material. I don't give it a fancy name and let's open it up. So with this open, we just add the rest of it. Just click one texture, hold control, click the others, drag and drop them into the um, material window. And now we just need to connect them. So let me sort them real quick. Obviously the normal comes into the normal channel. The roughness comes into the roughness channel. The height map we will do in a second. The ambient occlusion goes into the ambient occlusion. So to use our height map, we just need to click our material here on the right, go down and where it says under nanite enable tessellation, we need to check that and then just put our height map into the displacement slot. And now we have our base material, we can apply it and save it. And right now we could already apply it to the terrain but we want to have some basic tiling. To just get some basic tiling, we just right click and look for texture coordinate, like here. And then we just connect all the UVs, which will control the tiling to the texture coordinate node. And in here, we give it a value of about uh, 0.2. This really depends on texture. Normally 0 0.2, 0 0.3 is a good uh, starting value. Apply, save. So right now we need to change one more thing, which is the um, magnitude. And if we go back in the material and click the displacement, we have the magnitude in the center. The center is telling the engine from which point the displacement should be calculated based on the gray values in the map but that's something we don't need to touch. The magnitude is telling how extreme the effect is later on. So let's lower it to 0.2 because four is really extreme. Let's apply it, let's minimize it. And right now we just need to add it to the terrain. Right now everything is pretty gray and empty. For that we just go under the landscape 
on the white and in here we just drag and drop the landscape material on it and now we have some basic color but it's still missing the tessellation so we just need to get down to nanite enable nanite and then hit build data and give it a second and with that done we can see even if it's not a huge change we have tessellation so we could go back into the material and change the magnitude just for fun to one apply it and as you can see right now it's really popping and with that step done we have a basic landscape with a basic displacement setup and if you now want to learn more about unreal engine and how to work as a game dev make sure to click the link in the description also check out this video where i show you what software you really need to work in the games industry